Monochromatic light is incident on the diffraction grating. First order maximum observed at an angle to the incident. Wow, this one look easy but got trick. Small trick question. They give you lambda. Very nice. They give us the first order angle. But then now they ask you the angle between the first and second order. So they're asking for what is the change in lambda between your second order and first order. Ah, so you need to find both. Ah. Yellow, find both. There are many ways to do this. I'm just going to show the more straightforward way. Number one, okay, you want to use your n lambda equals to d sine theta. So first order, what's the wavelength? 5.3 times 10, negative 7 equals to, what's the diffraction grating? They didn't give us a, never mind, la, put d first. And then your angle sine 15.4. Okay. So then you can find a diffraction grating value, which will help you in your second case. So diffraction grating, you should get about 2 times 10, negative 6 m. Okay, then you do your second case. <coughs> uh, the second order. So what will be the second order angle? Uh, second order will be 2. Lambda, same, same light, so same wavelength. Equals to, oh, now we know d. So d is 2 times 10, negative 6. But we don't know the angle. So we will sign theta theta 2, I should say. So now you need to find your theta. Oh, you remember how to do trigo. Huh? <clears throat> Make sure your calculator is in degree or radians mode. Uh, degree, lah, because the answers are in degree. So you make sure you calculate theta properly. You should get 32 degrees for your second order angle. Okay, so the light go split first order, second order. Maxima, lah. so this one is, what is the angle? 15.4, this one is 32. 15.4. So they're asking the difference between the angle, which is then this red color one. Okay, so we need to do delta theta will be 32 degrees minus 15.4. 32.0. .0 that should give you about 15.4. 16.6, somewhere there. I rounded off a bit already. So the closest to that will be the answer C. So make sure you know to find the answer C. Okay, just remember, this is a trick question. They say angle between the first and second order. So you need to think of this. That's just a new 